Welcome to another video. Today I will be sharing with you a very important multi time frame analysis. So we will be taking a pair, making a multi time frame analysis on it, checking their order flow. So what big banks and institutions are doing on the pair. So COT data. I don't know if you already know what that is. And anyway, I will be sharing with you a very important set of topics that you have to know when you are developing a strategy or when you are trading the market. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the TradingView platform and I share free education and analysis each and every day on all of those platforms. And I suggest that you subscribe so that you can take advantage of all this free education. Okay, so today we will be speaking about USD Mexican Peso because it's a very interesting pair to follow. We already have in order going. So a trade running on this pair with students. And I want to show you how we can be looking for another opportunity to capitalize on this pair. And most importantly, I want to teach you how you're supposed to be approaching your analysis from a multi time frame and order flow perspective when you are swing trading to find the best opportunities in the market for some nice and good risk to rewards. So let's start from the weekly time frame. What kind of situation we have on the weekly time frame on this pair? So clearly we have a market that had very strong resistance at this area. So it reached this zone and then started all this move to the downside. And now after this consolidation period from a weekly perspective, the market exploded to the upside and broke above this zone. So basically what we have, we have a strong area of previous resistance, which has now turned support at this zone. And we have a very strong impulse. And we, we expect after the market creates a strong impulse to see a retracement. In this case, we want to see a retracement going to retest this previous resistance, now turn support to grab some liquidity. Now, if we look closely at how this impulse started and ended, we can see that first we had a huge explosion to the upside and then a clear deceleration with a distribution. Inside of here, we can definitely see the distribution. The market failed to continue higher, created multiple rejections. Hedge funds probably closed their long positions and we can expect them to open some shorts from a USD and Mexican peso perspective. So shorts on the USD and longs on, on the Mexican peso. Now let's go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So what hedge funds are doing at the moment on this pair. From a Mexican peso perspective, we can see that we went from 170k net positions all the way down to minus 5k net positions. So definitely a very strong weakening of this currency, obviously fueled by the worldwide situation that we're having at the moment. So that is exactly what you expect. If you see a movement like this in the market, you expect hedge funds to be selling aggressively the currency that is weakening, in this case, the Mexican peso. So everything is perfect because we have seen proper selling of the Mexican peso and we can expect hedge funds to take some profits on those shorts and basically cre create the distribution that we had here for the move to the downside. So everything is as we like it. Now, from a daily perspective, what kind of situation do we have? Now, on the daily, we can see that the market has been consolidating inside of this wedge formation. So basically creating lower highs and higher lows. Now, when you have a situation like this, you expect the market to break either to the upside or to the downside, the wedge. In this case, where do you want to see the market a break. You want to see the market break to the downside because of all the reasons that we just seen. We want to see hedge funds take their profits from a Mexican peso perspective. We want to see hedge funds open shorts and close the lungs from a US dollar perspective as we have just seen. And we want to see the market make a retracement after the huge impulse to the upside that we have already identified from a weekly perspective. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. So everything is indicating for a move to the downside. And in fact, 
the uh, wedge broke to the downside. But what happened? They didn't have enough liquidity. Now, if they don't have enough liquidity, meaning that if they want to sell the spare, but it aren't, there aren't enough buy orders for hedge funds to actually sell, because for every buyer, there has to be a seller. And for every seller, there has to be a buyer. So if they can't sell the spare, what do they do? They create the buyers. So manipulate traders in buying so that they can actually sell. So what did they do? They created a close back above this ascending trend line. And then at that point, they actually created and confirmed that the break to the upside was actually a fake breakout. The market closed back below, went for a retest. And at that point, what did we do with students? From a four hour perspective, we definitely wanted to take a position on this pair. And in fact, we are currently running on a nice short. Now, obviously, I can't tell you all the reasons for which we executed the position exactly from here. The only thing that I can tell you is that clearly this was previous support, now turn resistance plus completion zone of this M formation. This is obviously very basic tactical analysis that I can share. I can share the complete rules of all our entry rules, directional rules. We have very clear rule based strategies that we trade. But that is part of the mentorship program. I obviously can't share it. But what I can share is some basic technical analysis principle. Completion of the M formation, previous report, turn resistance, impulse correction, and impulse to the downside. Everything indicating for a move to the downside. And that is where we executed the position. Because always remember, monthly, weekly, and daily are for direction. The four hour is for entry. But where can we be looking for another opportunity to capitalize on this pair? Well, where we can be looking at is after a possible retracement. We know our overall downside target. But before reaching that target, the market might, obviously, if it even wants to reach the target from the first place, the market might want to give us a nice retracement. Now, in this case, since the market broke from a daily perspective below this previous support, which is now turn resistance, if the market will go for a retest of this previous support, now turn resistance from a daily perspective, we will have the impulse correction and we expect the next impulse to the downside. We will have the previous support, not on resistance. We will have the confluence of the Fibonacci taken from the low, sorry, from the high to the low. So at 0.382 Fibonacci retracement, again, lining up inside of this area. So we will have a confluence of resistance inside of this zone. And what we will be doing with students, we will be monitoring again, price action from a four hour perspective inside of this area, waiting for the market to shift from a four hour perspective, from a bullish market to a bearish market. And we will be waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries. And if the market provides to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for a nice move to the downside and a nice possible capitalizing opportunity on this pair. But obviously, we need to first see the market clearly show confirmations from a four hour perspective inside of this area. If the market will just continue to push higher and higher and higher, then this area will break to the upside and we will have to adjust as traders to the ever changing market conditions. That is why you need a clear set of rules to follow when you're trading. Otherwise, you will be trading in a discretionary manner, which is not suitable because you can't test that and you can't prove it profitable. But if you have a strategy that is rule based, then you can test it and prove it profitable. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis that I share on all these platforms. And also make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find the link in the description. It's a very complete program. You first learn all the rules of my strategies and then you trade them live with me. Each and every day, I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops, and take profit. And I also answer any question that you have each and every day. So it's a very valuable program and very complete. And I suggest you go and check it out or I will see you in the next video. Thank you.